Aumsum was gazing at the night sky through his telescope when Saturn appeared in view. It looked like Saturn was wearing a giant glowing bracelet. The sight filled him with awe. He wondered, why does Saturn have rings? With a burst of magic, Aumsum zoomed into space and landed on the glowing rings. At first, the rings seemed solid. But as Aumsum explored, he saw that they were made of countless pieces, pebbles, boulders, and mountains of ice, all racing around Saturn together. Just then, a glowing portal opened before him, pulling him back through time. Aum Sum found himself in Saturn's neighborhood billions of years ago. To his surprise, Saturn did not have any rings at all. Then he saw a huge comet drifting closer and closer. Saturn's powerful gravity pulled at it fiercely. The comet crossed an invisible boundary around the planet, called the Roche Limit. Inside this boundary, Saturn's gravity was so strong that no moon or comet could stay whole. The comet cracked apart, scattering ice and rock into thousands of pieces. Next, Omsum saw a small icy moon pulled inward. The closer it came, the more Saturn's gravity stretched and ripped it apart. The fragments joined the others, spreading out into wide, thin bands. As the vision faded, Omsum returned to the present. The swirling particles around him now made sense. <laughs> Omsum was sitting on a farm fence, watching chickens peck at the ground. Huh? Suddenly, he noticed a hen carefully guarding her nest of eggs. The age-old puzzle struck him at once. What came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> With a leap, Omsum magically flew back in time. <laughs> All around him lived strange feathered reptiles, part dinosaur and part bird. Huh? He watched closely as these creatures laid eggs in nests along huh? the ground. Just then, the earth trembled. The egg monster, a mischievous villain, appeared on the cliffs above. With a rumble, he sent the freshly laid eggs rolling downhill. Dozens of shells bounced and tumbled, turning the valley into a storm of chaos. Omsum scrambled between the rocks, dodging as the eggs rolled past him. For a moment, he was trapped in a maze of spinning shells. In the middle of the storm, Aumsum noticed something important. The creatures hatching from the eggs never looked exactly like their parents. Some had sharper beaks, others longer feathers, and others stronger legs. These small changes were passed down through generations, little by little. Then the realization struck him. One day, long ago, an egg carried a tiny change in its DNA. From that egg hatched a chick different enough to be called the very first chicken. The parent that laid it wasn't quite a chicken, but the baby inside was. Hence, <laughs> the egg came before the chicken. Om Sum was sitting in a classroom when suddenly a funny sound escaped from him. Everyone giggled and his cheeks turned red. He wondered, why do we fart? Determined to find the answer, Amsum blinked, shrank down, and entered his own body. He found himself traveling through long, twisting tunnels that formed the digestive system. At first, everything looked calm, with food slowly moving along. Muscles squeezed and pushed the food forward like a conveyor belt. Amsum followed the trail, searching for clues. Suddenly, from deep inside, Waves of trapped gas began to appear. They puffed and spread, releasing bubbles into the tunnels. The once quiet passage filled with pressure. Aumsum tried to move forward, but the thick gas made the air heavy, pushing him back. Then he noticed something important. Huh? Gas wasn't only caused by moving air. It was also made when bacteria in the intestines broke down food, especially beans, vegetables, or anything hard to digest. Huh? Some gas came from swallowed air during eating and drinking. 
Then suddenly, the walls of the intestines squeezed, pressure rose, and finally the gas rushed to the exit. With a sudden blast, it escaped as a fart. Aumsum tumbled out with the rushing air. Aumsum realized the truth. Farts were simply the body's way of releasing extra gas. <laughs>